G'day, I'm Adam David Collings, the author of Jewel of the Stars. So the first issue of the Star Trek Picard Countdown comic has released, and I have a few thoughts about it. So we learned some interesting background about the new show from this comic book. On the cover page we see a near photorealistic looking image of Picard in his Admiral's uniform. Now this is a new uniform, uh, but it does have the familiar combat, which I love. Now, it's very likely that we're going to see this uniform at some point on screen in the show, because we know they've actually made uh, a real version of it, which has been on display. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of flashback, perhaps, that that will appear in. So I'm going to go into some minor spoilers, so if you want to read this comic completely unspoiled, you might want to do that before you watch this video. So we learn what Geordie LaForge is up to. He's currently working at the Utopia Planitia shipyards, building uh, rescue ships to uh, rescue the Romulans from the impending supernova that we learned about in the movie Star Trek 2009. So Admiral Picard is currently serving aboard the USS Verity. This is an Odyssey class ship. Now this is really interesting. The Odyssey class is actually the class of the Enterprise F as seen in the computer game Star Trek Online. So this comic book is essentially canonising that ship design from the game. So what does this mean? Is it canonising the rest of the game? Probably not. But what else might they be drawing on from that game for their understanding of the Star Trek universe at this point in time? It's very interesting. We also learn that the Enterprise has a new captain, but we don't know who it is. So that leaves things wide open for speculation. My best guess is either Worf or just a character that we don't know. So Picard on the Verity is working to help evacuate Romulan citizens from worlds that are threatened by the supernova. Seems they've got quite a lot of advance warning that it's coming. And we meet the character Rafi Musica, who is actually going to be a character on the show, played by Michelle Hurd. And we learn that she is Picard's first officer on the Verity. So that is really interesting information. She's an interesting person. She doesn't like formality and refuses to call Picard Admiral. So there's a little bit of uh, tension there. Very different uh, styles, very different personalities. And we get some insight into the events that led to Picard's leaving Starfleet. Looks like there's going to be a moral conflict over a native species on one of the threatened worlds. This is a very Star Trek conflict. So... I'm looking forward to finding out what happens in issue two, and I'm really looking forward to the show. So I would suggest that you get these comics and read them. They're available as eBooks. You can get them from Amazon as Kindle books, which you can read on Comixology, or if you've got the money and the ability to have it delivered, you can get the paper versions. But they're definitely worth checking out. It's still over a month before Picard actually releases, so you know we're pretty hungry for anything that leads up to it. So pretty cool. I will see you next time. Live long and prosper. Make it so.